All right, so we ended the first video with kind of knowing that we had an upper or lower triangular matrix. So the eigenvalues were just on the diagonal. Um, but what if we don't have that? What are we going to do? So we are going to actually use this equation that we've been developing. So A minus lambda I times X equals to zero. And what we're going to end up doing is looking at the determinant of a minus lambda i and figuring out where that is zero. And that's what we're going to be calling the characteristic equation. Okay, that's what's gonna help us find our eigenvalues. So I'm going to find first a minus lambda i by taking my diagonal and doing minus lambda on the diagonal. Now I want to try to figure out where the determinant of this is zero. So I have two minus lambda times negative six minus lambda and then minus three times three is nine. Um, if I expand this, I end up getting lambda squared. Let's see, plus six lambda, minus two lambda, minus 12 minus nine. So lambda squared plus four lambda, minus 21. Two numbers that multiply to negative 21, but add to four would be lambda plus seven and lambda minus three. And so my two eigenvalues are going to be negative seven and three. Now, what does that mean? That means if I apply two plus seven, three, and then um, negative nine, okay? So nine, three, three, nine. The, the determinant of that would be zero. So if that was the case, then A wouldn't be invertible, right? Same thing if I plug in three. So these essentially find you the values in which if you were to apply them to the matrix, the determinant of that new matrix would be zero. All right, let's look at another example. So let's look at this determinant, and then it doesn't it have it in this example, but I want to make some connections and we'll find the eigenvalues. So let's find the determinant by just doing, um, let's do this first column. So determinant of A is going to be 2 times 0, negative 1, 2, 1, and then minus 4 times 3, 1, Two, one. So I have two times zero plus two minus four times three minus two. And then I have zero on the bottom, so I'm not including that. Now notice this ends up giving you four minus four, which is zero. So if we remind ourselves what that means, the determinant of A being zero means that it's not invertible. A inverse does not exist. Well, let's go ahead and find the eigenvalues just to practice of this matrix here. So we'll put two minus lambda, zero minus lambda, and one minus lambda on the diagonal, and I want to figure out when this is zero. So let's go ahead and figure out this determinant. I have two minus lambda, and then minus four,
times this here, and I'm going to let that be equal to zero. All right, that gives me 2 minus lambda times negative lambda times 1 minus lambda plus 2 minus 4 times 3 times 1 minus lambda minus 2. And I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to write it up in this part here. So I still have 2 minus lambda. On the inside here, I'm going to have lambda squared minus lambda plus 2 minus 4 times 3 minus 3 lambda minus 2. So I'm going to write this as negative 3 lambda plus 1. All right, when I distribute this inside of that whole big piece, I'm going to end up getting, I keep having a hard time making that lambda not look like an x, lambda cubed plus 3 lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 4, and then we'll have plus 12 lambda minus 4. And what does that give us? Negative lambda cubed plus 3 lambda squared plus 8 lambda equals 0. So now I'm going to factor out a lambda. I'm actually going to factor out a negative lambda. Lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 8 equals 0. Now, the only one I really care about is this one. So I know that one of my eigenvalues has to be zero. If that's the case, if one of your eigenvalues has to be zero, then this is going to be true. Okay, because again, there exists an ax equals zero x equals zero that is the non-trivial solution. Like there is an x in which this is the case. And so because there's a non-trivial solution in which this is true, a itself must not have an inverse. Okay, so all of that mess <laughs> following through, kind of seeing some examples here. Really, I just wanted to show you that you will have a lambda equals zero, and when that happens, then your original, okay, is not invertible. Now, that's different than what we said before, okay? Um, when we apply these inside here, so not A, but A minus 7i, times its eigenvector is zero, okay? And a minus three i times its eigenvector is zero. So under these, this matrix set has determinants equal to zero, okay? So that matrix does not have an inverse, but that doesn't mean that a is not invertible. But if you end up getting a eigenvalue of zero, then it is true that the original A is not invertible. All right, so let's go ahead and look at another example. Um, again, here we're going to find a characteristic equation, but notice we have a um, 4 by 4, which is kind of crazy, okay? <laughs> More crazy than a 3 by 3, but it has already been reduced for us. So we only, we have an upper triangular matrix. We only have numbers on the diagonal, right, that are, are non-zeros are all down the, on the diagonal here. So what does that mean? Well, that means that when I go in, to do my a minus lambda i on my diagonal here, um, I end up getting, remember when we have a determinant and we are just looking um, at an upper triangular matrix, I get that this determinant is just the multiplication of that diag diagonal. So 5 minus lambda looks like that squared, 3 minus lambda, and then 1 minus lambda. So my eigenvalues are going to be 5 and 3 and 1. And we do say that by definition, like this is the characteristic equation. And then here are 
our corresponding eigenvalues for A. All right, so let's say I know that a characteristic polynomial of a six by six is this matrix. Let's figure out all their eigenvalues. So characteristic equation, characteristic polynomial means that this must be true. Okay, so I could factor out an x to the fourth and I'd be left with x squared minus, or lambda squared minus four lambda minus 12. And so lambda equals zero is one of my eigenvalues with a multiplicity of four, right? Let's figure out the rest of them. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative four. That's gonna be negative six and two. So six is an eigenvalue, two is an eigenvalue, and both of these have a multiplicity of just one.